lawsuit because we want to report on some of this breaking news out of Arizona today. It was sentencing day for the man who called himself the QAnon shaman. He's going to now spend more than three years in prison for his role in the Capitol riots on January 6th. I want to bring in uh, Fox 10's Irene Snyder, who has been following this story all day today. And Irene, I believe you spoke with his family about this sentencing. Well, good evening, Daytona. Yes, I absolutely did. That man, as you mentioned, is now facing three and a half years of prison time. His mom says that she spoke with him today as well. She says that he never meant for it to go quite this far. Jacob Chansley, known by some as the QAnon shaman, entered the U.S. Capitol along with hundreds of others on the morning of January 6th. For his part, Chansley appeared shirtless, wearing face paint, a headdress with horns, riling up the crowd with a bullhorn. He was armed with a spear made from a flagpole. While at the Capitol, he left then Vice President Mike Pence a note saying that, quote, it's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. Now, months later, Chansley has been sentenced to three and a half years in prison. I'm of course, I'm I'm disappointed in, in the the fact that he is not on his way home, which is what I feel is where he should. Be. Chansley's mother, Martha, reacting to the sentence today, saying that he's a good man who never meant it to get so out of hand. Here's he's just a shaman. That's his shaman outfit. You know, he was going there, you know, with, you know, good intentions, nothing more than to support President Trump at the time, if he thought that that the end result of going would put him where he is right now, he would never have done that. He would never have done that. Chansley appearing in court at the sentencing, saying that he was truly repentant of his actions. Mr. Chansley owned his responsibility. He sought to be accountable. He was and has been held accountable. And he is respectful of this court and everyone involved in this case. During the Capitol riot, many lawmakers had to make a run for their lives, including Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego, who says the ruling today was justified. And I think we should be actually sentencing more people to that harsh uh, of, uh, you know, of a term. Uh, you know, he provided the uh, inspiration for a lot of people uh, to take part in insurrection. Uh, you know, he spread misinformation. He entered the, the Capitol illegally uh, and, you know, encouraged a coup. So he should be held responsible. And, and so far, about 650 people have been charged in the Capitol riots from January 6th of earlier this year, most of them facing a minimum sentence of six months. Daytona. And Irene, I'm curious, uh, the shaman's mother did she say she thought that he should have been acquitted of everything, should have gotten away without serving any time? So Daytona, she didn't specify, and I tried to pin her down on a little bit more of that. She didn't specify, I asked her about her reaction when this whole thing went down on January 6th earlier this year. She didn't comment on whether or not she thought it was right what he did at the time. She didn't comment specifically on, you know, what time he should have gotten, but she says that she thinks uh, he should have gotten less basically than what he got, and he should be able to come home sooner than three and a half years. I mean, compared to, I guess, some of those other people that got, as I mentioned, the lower sentences in this case. But again, I believe the argument uh, against him in this case, too, was that he really was kind of more the face of this insurrection in the Capitol uh, at the Capitol on January 6th. All right, Fox 10's Irene Snyder reporting live for us in Phoenix, Arizona tonight. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Adana.